now I'm at the Handmade Festival here with Sam. Hello. Um, so you've been here a while, you said, an hour and a half. How are you finding Handmade so far? Um, yeah, really nice. There just seems to be loads of really nice people and stuff to do and nice bands. So Just yeah. been chilling out downstairs? Yeah, I mean, I've... I've I've been to Leicester Uni before for Ooh. stuff, but like a long time ago. Yeah. So I'm not exactly familiar with the rooms and the building and stuff. So, so is this your yeah. first time at Handmade then? Uh, no, I've done it a f few times and I've done other festivals for John before as well. So yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, um, so you've been on a, a European tour recently? Yeah. So how did you find that then? Yeah, really good. Um, went on tour with Olympians, who are also on the same label as me. Oh, nice. Um, Barely Regal Records. Yeah. And um, yeah, just really, really great time. Great bunch of people. Um, <laughs> no problems, and everything was really good. That's yeah. really cool. Where was your like favourite place to perform there? Um, I've been I've been asked that like, <laughs> so many times. Oh, sorry, and generic it, question. No, generic. no, no. But it, it changes all the time. I, I think <laughs> I, I did really enjoy Brussels this time round. Not yeah. not particularly because of the city, because it's like most other European cities, they tend to blend into one. Yeah. But it was more just because it was quite sentimental and um, there's a nice crowd and um, we had like the best accommodation afterwards yeah. and it was the last show Aww. and we had to like drive back and everything the next day. So. It was just really nice just having exactly everything that we needed <laughs> like after the show, <laughs> as well as during. Um, but to be perfectly honest, like nearly all of the gigs were really good. Yeah. And all the countries we went to were good, apart from Switzerland. Ooh. Um, because I've never been to Switzerland before, yeah. but um, we played a show in Lausanne, which is incredibly, like, really ritzy and full of like holiday makers Ooh, yeah. who like have like holiday homes down there <laughs> and everyone drives around in flash cars and has like Rolex watches. Ooh, but we played you not at, like that? Well no but we played at like a squat party. <laughs> yeah. And um so obviously like loads of cross punks and stuff. Yeah. So it was just complete just chalk and cheese existence. Yeah. And um I think a lot of them just presumably really had a bit of a chip on their shoulder about the place <laughs> they lived in. Country mm. itself is, is yeah. pretty incredible to drive around and look mm. at and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was just a bit of a weird, weird <laughs> show. Um, they really didn't like, the crowd didn't seem to like Olympians as much because oh. it, it wasn't punky and aggressive and yeah. hardcore. Oh. But I just about got away with it because <laughs> I play really loud. So yeah. I think they were, they were okay with that. But then the two bands that they actually wanted to play were both hardcore bands yeah. and they had a really great time. So that, that was cool. okay. Um, but yeah, it's just, it was, that was the only one that was, mm. I, I mean, I had absolutely no problem playing that show, but it was the only one that maybe didn't quite sit in the way that it should have yeah. done. It wasn't like a normal gig, put yeah. it that way. Um, <laughs> and then the other Swiss show was just a, a, a party in someone's house. <laughs> oh, that sounds so really cool. So that was a bit different, but that yeah. was a slightly different town, like closer to the French border. So yeah. it felt a little bit more French, basically, yeah. rather than money, money, money. Like <laughs> it, it felt a bit more like you're just playing in a, a yeah. nice French town, but yeah. So, so I'd say the best one probably Brussels. Yeah, that's cool. So was that not your first European tour then? No, I've done, I've done quite a few now. Um, I've done two with my other band. Yeah. One of my other bands um, where we play like hardcore music. So we have played a lot of those sorts of crest punk venues and it was a bit better for, yeah. that, for that stuff. Um, and I've done a couple of times now with Theo. So I'm, yeah. I've done it enough that I only really go out for sort of 10 to 15 days not not much more than that because of holiday and all that kind of thing yeah well that's quite cool um so european tours wise you've done quite a few what about uk how have you toured around a lot there um <laughs> i used to um but these days the diy stuff is not quite as easy as it used to be um yeah. i mean there's there's plenty of places to play you know in most towns and cities yeah but um, I find that it's much more difficult to organise, you know, a tour, like yeah. a succession of dates. Like, unless you really know what you're getting yourself into, there's there's almost no point booking yeah. a show on a Monday or a Tuesday, yeah. or even a Wednesday in some cases, because you kind of just think, well, who's really going to come? Yeah. And, you know, unless, you know, like I said, unless it's a particular event or, you know, that it's going to be supported well. Yeah. So if I do tour, yeah. it tends to be like long weekends, yeah. which which is more of like... I always make sure I do it with 
just the best people, the best yeah, friends yeah, yeah. I have who also play in bands. Yeah. Rather than obviously, if I did it all on my own, I've never done a tour on my own. Yeah. Um, because I would just go nuts behind, <laughs> behind the wheel and just wandering around all the time on my own. Yeah. Stuff. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm one of those people that I need people. Yeah, like and share I, the experience. Yeah, and <laughs> I think I think at my level certainly, um, certainly like touring in Europe, it's kind of like the cheapest slash best holiday ever. Yeah. Um, so I don't really see it as I mean, I see it as work, but I don't see it as like, you know, a lot of people talk themselves up and say they're on tour yeah. and stuff. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. but it, for us, it was that, you know, we both had records, like the most recent one, we both yeah. had records to promote and stuff. But it was more about just playing as many shows as we could and having as much enjoyment as we could and mm, obviously yeah. hanging out together and stuff. So who's your favourite people you've performed with or on, bands? What, on tour and, or just in general? Just in general. Oh, um... <laughs> That that is a really tough one because <laughs> I've on just spot played, played with so much. I think, to be perfectly honest, like I'd say the, the best band I've played with are a band called Nikovsky, okay, who yeah. I'm lucky enough that they live on the same road as me in Ooh. London. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, that they're, they're, I've I've been lucky enough that I've played a few shows with them very recently. Yeah, they had split up for like a couple of years or like taken a break for a couple of years. Yeah, and. Um, they just started playing again, and oh, that's cool. they are basically the best band <laughs> I've ever seen. So, and obviously being really, really close friends with them as well makes yeah, it even better. That's really rad. Um, mm. So, um, so you talked about like your weird gig in, um, well, your weird um, place in like Switzerland. Have you ever had any other weird like gig type things that's happened? Yeah, I mean, just like most other people, you have quite a lot of shows that you know either seem like a like a waste of time yeah. you know or in, a, in hindsight obviously yeah. um I've played in a castle in Northumberland That's for, a, for cool. a bunch of students from Edinburgh <laughs> um they all seemed like they, were, they had quite a lot of money so they were willing to all chip in and hire a castle for the weekend <laughs> yeah. um but they they seemed to like my music but none of the none of none of the people there had heard of me before but it was more of just a good party really yeah um in terms of like really weird ones I guess Every now and again, you just kind of get those shows. I mean, I don't get these so much now, yeah. but every now and again, you kind of get those shows where even when you're sort of setting stuff up, you kind of just think, is this actually appropriate? Is this, is, yeah. this the, is this the right time to be making loads of noise? And yeah. especially when I first started, because a lot of people thought I was like a kind of a chilled, like acoustic <laughs> thing. And then obviously realizing that it's completely the opposite of that. <laughs> yeah. um, and then obviously people not having enough space for me and expecting me to be able to cram myself in oh. and everything. Um, and yeah, so it's, I haven't really had a lot of really bad shows, but just like anyone else, have, you have a few weird ones, yeah. So you're looking forward to performing later? Yeah, um, I think it should be okay. Um, hopefully people will stick around, I guess, because <laughs> it's bank holiday tomorrow. There's n no one's going to be in any particular rush to get home. Yeah, I was going to say, everyone's going to party out late today. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> feeling, I'm feeling a bit delicate today, but I think, I think by the time it comes around, um, I should be all right. Well, good luck with your set later and thank you for coming and having an interview with us. No problem. <laughs>